Good morning, y'all. Thank you so much for clicking on my video. I appreciate you being flexible with my hectic schedule right now, but I wanted to come on. I just showered, I put on some of my skincare. My morning skincare routine is the same, but I'm switching it up and using uh, some new sunscreen combinations here. And I wanna let you know about them. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Zach. I do post a lot of skincare and sunscreen related content. So if that is of interest to you, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate that. And if you do enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up as you're watching it. Don't mind this thumb. I had an issue with breakfast this morning. Um, we're okay. We are okay. Yeah, we're good. I didn't shave. I shaved last night. So there is some stuff growing in, which I think is nice, especially when I'm trying out or when I'm demonstrating for you guys so you can really see what's going on with facial hair. This is a sunscreen that I'm loving right now. So my skincare is fully dried down and set. Honestly, my skin looks pretty great right now. I finally got to a CVS that had this product in stock. This is the SPF 50 Clear Zinc Lotion from CVS. This is great. This is a highly underrated product. I don't hear a lot of people talking about it or using it. Um, I do hear a lot of people using and talking about sun bomb, but I think this is better and it's a way better value. But this product is great. This was mentioned in my top five sunscreen video that is almost two years old, which is crazy. Well, it's like a year and a half, but that's crazy to me. I have been using this product for two years and I still just went out and bought a full one. Mine doesn't expire till June of 2023. So I have um, over a year, so that's decent. Um, the active ingredients is octocrylin 4%, which is a chemical ingredient for UVB and then zinc oxide 5%. This has some other great ingredients in it, like aloe vera, which is gonna be soothing. It's also a humectant, will hold onto water, hydrate the skin, dimethicone, help it slide on and glide onto the skin very nicely. Beeswax, which is hydrating, but this is not cruelty-free, so do know that. Silica, oil absorbing, so it's pretty good, but I do think it's hydrating. I don't think it's mattifying. So this is what I'm gonna put on for my base sunscreen layer. Just gonna go ahead and pump out that amount. You can also get this product in a jar, but honestly, I really just prefer the squeezy tube. It's a better value. I don't know, I like the tube better than the jar, personally. It's also cool going back to kind of your old favorite products. I wanna do a video like wearing my old skincare routine and seeing my thoughts about it. Like, am I still loving what I used to do? Yeah, this sunscreen has aged very, very gracefully because since this product came out about like two years ago, there has definitely been a lot of other sunscreen launches. Um, this product's great. It's like seven dollars and thirty nine cents at my store. And then if you are a CarePass member at CVS, which I highly recommend, pay them five dollars a month and you get ten dollars a month. So you're getting five dollars for free, and then you get twenty percent off CVS products. So essentially, this comes from seven dollars to like six dollars and change. And then I use my CarePass gonna put a little extra on my nose and my under eyes it doesn't burn around my under eyes i think it's different for everybody because somebody recently commented that the hot alabo that is my holy 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 grail sunscreen burned their eyes i'm so sorry that that happened to you that that was your experience it's not that experience for me if it was i would definitely not recommend that but yeah it's just crazy how everyone is so different okay so we're blended out let's get up close and personal here hello so yeah, it's bunching a little bit in the facial hair. You can see it gathering, but not terribly by any means. And definitely it's a little bit lighter than my neck, but my face is just pale in general because I'm always wearing sunscreen. So it's more, you know, pale than my body and stuff like that. So now what I do is I go in with a tinted sunscreen. I am going to be using the Australian gold sunscreen. I just picked up a new color that comes in three colors. It comes in light, tan, and deep. I have the deep one. I've talked about it before. It's, it's just like I can't use it because it really is deep, but I can use like a teeny bit and kind of contour our bronze, but it's gonna take a long time to get through that one. But I ended up picking up the medium to tan. The only place I could find it was on Amazon. So I did go ahead and buy it there. It will be linked down below for you guys all the colors and it came pretty quickly. I don't have prime, but it did come in like four days. And this is what this one looks like. So they have changed the packaging a little bit. It used to be a turn cap and now it's um, a pull down cap. Sorry, I know you can like see it. It's not dirty. It just kind of collects up in there. <laughs> 
Um, but yeah, this is what it looks like. This one is a fully mineral sunscreen. So this one is 4% titanium dioxide and 4% zinc oxide. They also did update the ingredient style. So now it is in order from most potent to least potent, whereas before it was alphabetical. So you didn't really know what you were getting. So that's updated. So that's cool. Now I can get more of a better understanding of what's in this. And I do love that glycerin is right at the top to be hydrating, but also is silica. So that's why this is kind of mattifying. Mine doesn't expire until September of 2024, so that's crazy. That's so good. So yeah, again, mine is the medium to tan skin tones. So there are three colors. So it says lightweight, matte finish, anti-aging, water resistant for up to 80 minutes, and broad spectrum SPF of 50. So here we're going to go in with this. And you can use this over a chemical sunscreen, you know, just, just let it dry down. But I really do prefer kind of mixing minerals with minerals or combination with mineral. I just, I don't know. Something about my heart tells me that that's what I should be doing. I don't know. <laughs> Like that so this side has nothing on it this side has it so again it's not really providing me coverage you can still see everything it's just kind of evening the tone so definitely takes down a little bit of maybe the redness I'm gonna go in with a little bit more like the second layer it's a little bit hard to do this on the camera than like if I was in a mirror but it's okay and when I've been wearing this out and about it wears so well it doesn't look like makeup it doesn't look like unnatural i've been getting compliments like oh wow you look tan you must have been enjoying the beach and i'm like yeah my skin a little bit better so again the right the side has the sunscreen the side doesn't so it just provides a little bit of color it matches my neck really really nicely ah just like hurting myself all day today. Here, now I think you can see it better. I think the lighting was just like washing me out and I really want you to be able to see that this definitely is deepening. Like, I think it's a good shade for me, honestly, but I just wanted you guys to be able to see, like if you miss a spot, it's gonna be obvious. I will also be making a video going over the complications of tinted sunscreen in general, uh, but this will, the Australian gold tinted sunscreen will be my like example demonstration product, but this is across the board for tinted sunscreens. So if you're not subscribed and you're interested in that, please do go ahead and sub. But yeah, that's it applied. I think it's pretty like evenly on there. I don't think it looks weird. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, watching me apply it. I'll probably include uh, maybe some like little vlog clips as we go. Hopefully you guys have been enjoying these vlogs. If not, please let me know down below. Um, I'm not really going, well, I'm not really going based on view count because when people are searching for skincare topics, my videos may come up, but I think if people are looking up vlog San Diego, I don't, I, I probably am not gonna come up. Like a lot of people have vlogged that, but if you guys are enjoying them, I will continue to do them. But if you're not and you're not interested, then let me know. But getting less views is not a reason for me not to make them. Things look great right now. I just really like that this adds some color to my skin. It protects my skin. It evens things out. I don't look like super pale. I think everything is matching pretty well from the face to the neck to the arms. So I appreciate that. And then the only thing I might do if I really am feeling it is put on under eye concealer, but I'm feeling fine. <laughs> All right, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you in my next video. Bye. This freaking thumb. Get rid of that.